ARPA is meant to spend money, to spend to stimulate the economy. But more importantly though, not just to spend the money, how to sustain that economy. That was former CNMI Governor Ralph Torres in September. And apparently he spent so much, there's nothing left. If we were spending this money and there was no back plan on sustaining our economy and our people, when ARPA monies run out, then okay, we could say there's a problem. Torres's running mate, former Senator Vinny Sablan, coming to his defense then, and there appears to be a multi-million dollar problem now. The financial future of the CNMI is in free fall. After a meeting with the legislature Wednesday, Governor Arno Palacios is expected to release a detailed report of the island's fiscal health this week. Senator Selena Babata sounding off online, revealing the tip of the iceberg, writing, Corruption hurts everyone. This is our reality. ARPA funds are at least $86 million in deficit. Local funds are between $23 million to $34 million in deficit. The CNMI received roughly $500 million of ARP. Back in October, Torres signed the FY23 budget, which was about $150 million. The budget sourced 80% of personnel costs from local revenue and 20% from American Rescue Plan federal funds. The budget now off balance as House members convene informally in an attempt to fix a problem amid a potential shift to austerity. House lawmaker Ed Probst says he is deeply troubled as to just how bad things are right now, how a former governor could allow this to happen. He adds, prepare. Brace yourselves. There is no bailout from Uncle Sam. Tomas Maglonia for KUAM News on Saipan.